Good morning, YouTube. The Rev here. Time for, you got it, a cup of coffee with Jesus. We're going to sit down, drink some coffee, or if you got juice or water, iced tea, sweet tea, hot tea, whatever you got, Pepsi, Coke, doesn't matter. Just sit down and have some time with Jesus today. I'm going to talk to you today about authority. When we have what we as believers have as authority. Uh, this is just, there's many scriptures about our authority, what we have, what we carry. This is just one, just one. So Paul writing to Timothy, a young preacher, encouraging him on the things that he needs to do. <coughs> this is really good. First Timothy four. Excuse me, I had to take a little sip of some Guatemalan. First Timothy four. Start with verse 9. It is a trustworthy statement deserving full acceptance. For it is for this we labor and strive, because we have fixed our hope on the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of believers. Prescribe. I like the word, the way they use the word prescribe. It's like he's issuing a prescription to people. He's issuing medicine to people to heal their soul. He says, prescribe and teach these things. Let no one look down on your youthfulness, but rather in speech, conduct, conduct, love, faith, and purity, show yourself an example of those who believe. Until I come, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation, and to teaching. Do not neglect the spiritual gifts within you, which was bestowed on you through prophetic utterance with the laying on of hands by the presbytery. presbytery. Take pains with these things. Be absorbed in them so that your progress will be evident to all. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teachings. Preserve in these things. As you do these, you will ensure salvation both for yourself and for those who hear you. He's telling Paul, Paul's telling Timothy with the things that are in you. How many of you out there and myself included have gifts in us? People have laid hands on us. Prophetic utterances have been spoke over us for businesses, for ministries, for giftings and callings which are without repentance, and we just lay on them and aren't using them. Is it because of your youthfulness or is it because of your old age? Whatever it is, Paul is encouraging Timothy and I'm encouraging you. Step up today and take back those giftings and callings. Take them back. Take them back into the obedience of Christ and go forward with them. He was telling them, pay close attention to them, the teachings, absorb them. Make sure that they're deep inside of you so when you speak, people will take, make, take notice of it and will pay attention. It's a good thing that he puts spiritual authority in us. He puts giftings and callings in us or that are without repentance. And we just need to remember that these things are the things that Jesus gave us to go teach to the world. Everybody's got a little pastor and preacher in them. I'm telling you, everybody's got some pastor and preacher in them. Everybody's got some evangelism in them. Everybody's got some apostle in them. That's a sent one that's go to sent to speak the good news of Jesus Christ to the nations, to your neighborhood, to your community, to your workplace. Everybody's got a little bit of the five-fold ministry in them. You might have a more profound gift of them, but everybody's got some of the five-fold in them. Nobody's lacking in a portion of one of them because we are to be all things to all men as needed. But when we're serving Jesus the way we're required to serve Jesus, we are serving mankind. That's what Paul is telling Timothy here. You put your focus on the things of God. You put your focus on those things that were put inside of you. You put your focus on the things of today in the word and you use those things that are inside of you by the laying on of hands and prophetic utterances 
and that the presbytery put on you, that's the elders of your church, when you do these things and you focus on them, you are serving Jesus, and in serving Jesus, you will serve mankind. It's a fact. So step up to the plate and serve mankind by serving Jesus with all that's been put into you. Today is the day. Today is a new day. The sun's coming up outside right now. So get you some coffee, sit down with Jesus, ask him about your giftings and callings and go out there and speak them without repentance because your giftings and callings are without repentance. Use them. Use them just as Paul was telling Timothy. Use them. Take care of them. Foster them. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak that over you, that you would use those giftings and callings. I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for sitting down for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Thank you for listening to the word. Go focus on it. 1 Timothy 4, 9 through verse 16 and read what Paul was telling Timothy because that applies to you and I as well. Today is a good day. Go out and use what God gave you. Show up and show up in your authority. And remember always, today and forever, that Jesus loves you, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You guys have a great day using your gifts and your, your callings and your authority, which was given to you by laying on of hands, prophetic utterances, the elders who are scattering around you, calling those gifts up in you. Use them today for his kingdom. You guys have a great day. I'll see you soon for some cup of coffee with Jesus. Goodbye. <laughs>